what's going on YouTube today I got my s9 here that we're gonna start getting hooked up I got as you can see an ice cold bush light beverage so it's sitting on my workbench and not where I'm gonna have it for a reason so I don't know where I'm gonna put it right now my other one is chilling up here in the mix of everything uh, but I have these things so I 3d printed them and it's gonna kind of go on the back part of it pick that up so it's just gonna mount to the back here so that I can put on a duct fan so I want to try and get this to exhaust out that window back there without really having to do too much as far as having it sit up here. I want to get it in a better spot, but I can get an aluminum four inch pipe and just pipe it out along with this. And I have a second one here to put onto that one and do the same. So I'm hoping I can get it onto this rack somewhere, maybe down there or just up here maybe or just place it up top or maybe maybe I can just get it and place it up top here uh, where the bar is and my other rigs and right above and just pipe it along the wall out that window I'm not sure yet but I'm gonna go ahead and try and fit this so that I can see how it's going to work because as you can see right here it's not on it yet but it should just screw with these same screws into it. And this is the exhaust side and the other side has like a grill on it that it intakes, it shoots the air through the hash boards and out the back. And then this is three printed to be a four inch supposedly inlet. So the 3D print job isn't the best, but it is what it is. But you can see there four inches so I can get these for like 10 bucks at Home Depot so the inside kind of look like there may there may be a crack down there but it looks okay for now so I'm gonna go ahead and get that on there and then I have my bit main power supply chilling over there that I can use to power this thing but at first I will just be powering just one until I get this program because I'm going to flash with Hive OS. I'm going to go ahead and mount that piece and show you guys what it is like with it on. Alright, so the piece is mounted as you can see here, and it's just the four couple screws that are in there uh, holding it in. And you can see, I mean, it's it's still pretty dirty, but it's, it's exhausting, so it shouldn't be too bad. So the, the next thing would be to get it onto the shelf and mining for the most part. Uh, you can see it's my S9 here. Uh, and on the tag, you see 13.5 terahash. Uh, we're going to be using program to overclock it a little bit, so it should help it out now. Anyone that hasn't used an amp miner before ASIC miner it's not quite as simple as setting up GPUs but still not too bad uh, you just have to go into your router and get the IP for this and then type it in the address bar and then to get into it now I already have the firmware for this since I flashed my other S9 so I will get that from my computer flash this over but let's go ahead I'm gonna get it onto the shelf get the power supply hooked up just to this pin connector here and I have a network cable already ready to go so let's go ahead and get that hooked up real quick all right so it's hooked up on the shelf now now I did point it just towards the end of the basement there but it is pretty loud I only have the main board hooked up right now as you can see up top there uh, the hash boards aren't hooked up because I don't want them doing anything until I get a program and tuned. But it's just blowing cool air this way and it's going to keep doing so most likely until 
uh, I get the hash boards going and there's a power supply sitting right back there I mean it's pretty loud right now pretty sure the fans are at a hundred percent until I get it tuned and it's actually mine they can read the temperatures of the boards but you know a little dirty on the fans at least but let's go ahead and I'm gonna go and get high flash to this so we'll get inside the computer I'll get the IP address for this and get inside the bitmain miner and we will check it out all right so I'm logged into the ASIC miner this is it uh, you just type it in as you can see in a dashboard it's username root password root when it comes up uh, but right now I'm gonna go to upgrade this is where I'm gonna do it so you'll come down to or go over to hiveos.farm you're gonna click the firmware and pick the miner that you have now I had a t9 on it before so I had that firmware already but I did the s9 and it downloaded I'd already downloaded it so what I'm going to do is come in here I'm gonna browse Go into my documents, find the S9 one. So I have on S9 Atar. So it's saying it once, I had it somewhere before. Now I'm going to flash the firmware. Flash new firmware will take about 120 seconds. Click OK. I'm just going to wait this out. So we'll just keep waiting for it to flash, and now it's flashing. And remember, it's not mining right now, but I want to get it onto my Hive OS. Okay, I'm back, but first attempt failed. So, you guys would have seen in the corner, it was a uh, different firmware. So, I did a reset of the firmware, which you can do on S9s and T9s that have the IP report button on them and the S little micro SD slot to the left side of it. Uh, I unplugged it, held that IP report button, and plugged it back in and held it for another 5 to 10 seconds and turned it on or slash plugged it back in and now it's still doing it so while you plug it in still hold it five to ten seconds and let it go and it goes back to its original firmware so now we go back to the upgrade area we're gonna choose the file we're gonna pick the same one and flash the image and it's gonna replace it so I'm thinking because it had a third-party firmware on it already that's why it didn't flash and I want to use HiveOS just because I can manage my rigs and my farm a little bit better. So I'm going to let this one go and take its toll and then come back to it. And hopefully then it's flashed and ready to go. So I'm going to wait this out. So I will be right back once again. Alright, this time it worked. After going back to the factory firmware, I am now have hive os asic uh, firmware on it now this is where you want to come to hive os tab and this is where you want to input your farm hash so i'm going to go ahead and do that uh, so i'm just going to input it click enter and pretty much go from there so if you don't know where to get your farm hash come into your hive os you're going to go to settings it's going to be pretty much right there so let me do that There we go, so it's entered and now I can see it and I see the S9 flight sheet missing. So I'm gonna apply my flight sheet in a second, but I'm gonna go overclock settings and I'm gonna set it to, we were at 770 at 9.8 terahash. So I'm gonna set that, apply my changes. Now I might change this later on, but what I'm going to do is apply my flight sheet once my overclocks go through apply my flight sheet boards aren't hooked up so they're not going to show up yet but I want to get everything pretty much ready to go for when I do hook it up now I may unplug this once it starts mining because I don't have the aluminum piping on it yet but it looks like my config has changed, so I'm gonna look at my configuration. Auto tune change in progress, kill tunes. So it's trying to tune it, it's trying to auto tune it. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go plug the hash boards in now and then let this run its course. So be right back. 
All right, so we got all the hash boards plugged in. It's plugged back in and powered on. It's not ramped up yet though, because it's still booting and it's gonna have to start applying overclocks and auto tune, but it is in Hive OS now, as we can see here. And this is what I was talking about earlier. That's the I report button. So right on top there, you, you can see it. Now I just held, I unplugged it, held this in, plugged it back in and still held it for five to 10 seconds and it set the firmware back to its original state with the original Antminer firmware. And now you can hear it ramp up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back onto the computer in the Hive OS and see what it is doing and what it is mining at. And hopefully I can get it a little bit quieter, but we shall see. It's all hooked up. We are back in it. Now I do need to rename it in here, but it looks like my overclock profiles are going to be setting and it does take a little bit to start mining, but it shouldn't take too long. So I do have a little bit of a warning and it's saying NA, but it's still doing what it needs to do. So it's all plugged up now, as you saw, and we're back in, I renamed it S92. And it looks like it's doing just about nine and a half terahash at 841 watts. Now it's still fine tuning itself, so it's not going to be perfect for a little bit, probably a few more minutes while it sets in. But it's mining, it's been up for 53 seconds now. When you do plug them in, keep in mind it does take a few minutes for it to show in Hive OS that it's mining. So don't be alarmed if it's your first miner you set it in Hive OS and you plug it in, it's not there right away. It's not like GPUs where you see it almost instantly of booting up. The miner takes a little bit, but I already have one accepted share, so I know it's going. And if we look at my S9 here, the original one, you can see this one is on the same overclock setting and on the same pool. So I will check my pool and make sure, but we'll go back to this one. It looks like it's gonna be tuning itself. And you can see up here what it's mining at. So if we go look at this one, it's going 3.2 terahash pretty much across the board so my other one is 3.2 about now the temps are a little bit higher but it, like i said it's still tuning a little bit but the fans are down a little more so it should help with some noise in my basement but if not they do make other cones i can 3d print that are supposedly si like make it a muffle the sound a little bit they call them silences they muffle the sound a little bit to make it not as drastic but, I mean, that's pretty much it. That is my ASIC miner all set up. Uh, the fans are on auto. Uh, Hive OS is my favorite so far, but I'm still new to the whole ASIC uh, thing. It's only my second or third one setting up, so I really only know Hive OS. There's other third-party firmwares you can use that are just as good from what I understand, but I like Hive because I can manage everything at once. But... It's up and running. The last thing for me to do is really just to check pooling to make sure it goes onto the pool. But I probably will go into my basement probably in an hour or so and turn this one off only because I want to get the aluminum fan in place before I really let this thing just run full bore all the time. I, I wanna get that heat out of my basement. You saw how it was pointed just towards uh, the back end of it. I don't want all that heat just going there and staying there. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down. Yeah, probably 30 minutes to an hour, but you know, I'm gonna let it run auto tune, things like that, set in, make sure it registers to my pull and pull before I go ahead and do that. But you know, thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Also check out the merch in the description below. I have some cool t-shirts, um, mugs, pint glasses, hoodies. Uh, make sure you check it out, purchase some stuff, help support the channel, help me keep making videos. But thanks for checking out, stay tuned for more.